this video, we will start to lay the drivetrain out in SOLIDWORKS with the information we now have. Start a part in SOLIDWORKS and begin a sketch on the right plane. We will use this to lay out the side plate. Draw a rectangle with the middle at the origin, and dimension 30 inches long and 4 inches tall. These dimensions will likely have to be changed later. Now, draw three different circles, 4 inches in diameter, to represent the wheels. The outside wheels should be as far out as possible, and the center should be vertical to the origin. Make the outside wheels horizontal to each other, and give the center wheel a 0.125 inch drop from the outside wheels. This is an important feature on a six wheel drive drivetrain, as it makes the center wheels act like a pivot point for the drivetrain. If you did not have any type of drop, it would make the drivetrain harder to turn quickly because the outside wheels would prevent you from turning. Now you can specify how much ground clearance you would like to have. This is something that may change from year to year. If you need to drive over something, you can have a larger ground clearance. However, if it is a flat field, the lower to the ground, the lower you will have the center of gravity in your robot. Make sure you aren't too low though because you will likely need to run over small items on the field, like nuts or bolts. For this example, we can make our ground clearance 0.75 inches. Make a dimension from the bottom of the rectangle to the bottom edge of the outside wheel. To dimension to the outside of the circle, hold down shift while you are clicking on the circle. Otherwise, it will dimension to the center of the circle. Now we can add the transmission to the side plate layout. Make a rectangle with the same dimensions of the VEX Pro 2 SIM ball shifter, 5.02 inches by 4.25 inches. The output shaft is 3.32 inches from the left side of the transmission. The shaft is also directly in the middle. I have made the transmission sideways so it can fit in a smaller area. Otherwise, our side plate will have to be over 5 inches tall. Center the transmission horizontally and move it towards the right side, which will be the back of the robot. You will notice that the side plate does not fit with the transmission. Resize the plate to being 4.75 inches tall so the transmission can fit inside the flanges. Now, draw some lines from the center to centers. These construction lines will go from the transmission to the back, the transmission to the middle, and the middle to the front. This is the connections of your chains. Now, make dimensions for each of those lines, and add an equal relation to the two transmission to wheel center lines. These will be used to find the proper position of the axles, so that the chains will be tensioned properly. Using the approximate sizes of those center to center distances, I will use the chain equation to find out what the center to center distance must be so that we have an integer number of links. We have a spreadsheet that we use to find out the spacing. SimBots can find it in the design notes and calculations folder in the Dropbox. The numbers I came up with are 12.375 from the middle to front wheel and 6.131 for the transmission to middle and back wheel. Change your dimensions in SOLIDWORKS to these dimensions. Change all of the lines except for the rectangle side plate lines to construction lines. Later in the design, we will use these construction lines to place other holes. You are now done making the layout of the chassis side plate. In the next video, we can start to make the side plate for the chassis. 